shellac is a wonderful finish to stock in your shop. I use it primarily as a sealer, but I also French polish with it on occasion. Shellac is a natural product, both non-toxic and food safe. It's a resin secreted by the female lac bug on trees found in India and Thailand. It's processed and sold as dried flakes or buttons. The color is influenced by the type of tree sap the bug is consuming. Here is button lac. It contains wax, and for that reason I don't recommend using it for the purposes in this video. It's porous, and other finishes will not adhere to it. This is orange shellac. Historically quite popular, and used as a combination stain and finish. Lighter tints include lemon, blonde, and platinum. Platinum is my favorite tint, and the one I'll be mixing. To dissolve shellac, I like to use anhydrous isopropyl alcohol. Avoid using rubbing alcohol. It contains up to 50% water. I also avoid using denatured alcohol. It has an unpleasant odor and contains toxins. Now, select the grade of flake you'd like to mix. For mixing shellac, a rotary tumbler is ideal. Used in the polishing of stones, I won't be needing this part of the tumbler. In its place, I'll use a 13 ounce pickle jar. Just make sure the jar you choose has a good rubber seal on the inside of the cap. I'll be mixing a two pound cut of shellac. Pound cut is the measured unit of shellac flakes dissolved in a gallon of alcohol. So a two pound cut refers to two pounds of shellac flakes dissolved in a gallon of alcohol. Dissolved shellac has approximately a shelf life of one year. Now a gallon of shellac is way more than I can use in a year. So I'll cut that back by using the same ratio with less volume. I'll weigh out approximately two ounces of shellac flakes on a scale that's accurate to at least a tenth of an ounce. In the center of an old t-shirt, spill out the measured shellac flakes. The commercial flakes are much too large for processing, so it helps to pulverize them with a mallet. These smaller flakes will dissolve much faster. Place the flakes into the mixing jar, and to that add 8 ounces of isopropyl alcohol. Seal the jar well, make sure it doesn't leak, and then run masking tape around the lid of the jar as an extra precaution. Place this jar into the rotary tumbler and turn it on. In about eight hours, the shellac will completely liquefy. This is a much faster way of making shellac on demand rather than agitating it by hand over a three-day period. Keep track of the date that you mix your shellac by dating the storage bottles. You'll need to strain the shellac, and for this I'll use a piece of sheer curtain. The liquid flows freely through this material and filters out all of the impurities, like twigs, bug parts, and undissolved shellac. This mix nets me about 10 ounces of liquid shellac. That's a two pound cut, which is perfect for French polishing. Now to make a sealer, I'll take one ounce of two pound cut shellac, and to this add three ounces of alcohol to make a quarter pound cut. I think you'll find making your own shellac is quite easy and will pay big dividends because you will always have fresh shellac when you need it.